Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen Harris. If you are new here, I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And if you are a returning subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new video. I have been switching up my YouTube schedule lately, so I don't want you guys to miss anything and I've kind of been posting at random, so I figure if I remind you guys to ring that bell, that way you won't miss any uploads from me. Anyway guys, today we're filming a Will I Buy It video. I love filming these. Every account I use to film these is always linked in my description box, so I just want to mention that to you guys in case you're like, Karen. You never mention whose stuff you're using and it's honestly because it gets so repetitive so I find it easier to just leave it linked in the description box so just so you guys know that and this look is already live on my channel. I will link that video in the description box as well as everything on my face is going to be linked down below and most of those links are affiliate links so if you do use them it does go right back into my YouTube channel so thank you guys for that. And without further blabbering, let's talk about some new makeup. Mm, 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 mm. You guys, I'm like high on life today because I did my hair for YouTube. I don't think I've had curly hair on my YouTube channel for a while, other than when I put that like curler stuff in it. But this is from the Dyson Airwrap. So your girl got a Dyson and now she thinks she's a hairstylist. So there's that. But okay, let's talk about new makeup. I'm going to sit over here to this side so we can put some photos right here. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing on Trend Mood is the new Real Techniques Holiday Collection. So there's a bunch of stuff. There's like a little Christmas tree of beauty sponges. They've got a bunch of different brush sets. I really like this holiday stuff that they do. It's a great way to try the brushes. There is a $14 brush set. There's a $9.98 sponge set. There is another brush set for like $11.25. Like the price points are great and honestly I love my Real Techniques brushes. I have such a variety of brushes now in my collection from Ruffer to Sonia G to Wayne Goss to Morphe to Kaleidos to Midas to Nabla. Like I have a lot of different brush sets. Wet n Wild, Tarte, Oh my god, Sonia Kashuk, like I'm looking at my brush collection um, and I still, you know, have Real Techniques brushes that I've had forever. I love that big face brush. I like these ones. They're like the Instapop brushes. I love these ones for highlighter. It's a setting powder brush from them. So they make fabulous brushes. I've never had any problems with them. They wash really well and they last a really long time. So highly recommend. If you guys are looking for an affordable brush brand that you can find at the drugstore like Target, Walmart, CVS. Real Techniques is where it's at. Okay, next are these new Viseart Petite Fours collection. This is now available online. This is their holiday 2020 collection. So there's four palettes. So there's Praline, which is an almond caramel like color story. There's Chocolate, which is obviously like a chocolate color story. There's Framboise, it's probably Framboise. I do watch the Great British Baking Show sometimes. So that's like a berry color tone. And then we have Lilas, which is a creme de la creme of luminous luxe. I don't really know what that means, but sure. So these look really nice. I actually really love these. If I was really into like Viseart, maybe I would reach for these. But unfortunately, I feel like I used to be so into Viseart and now I'm not so much, which it's fine, like it happens. I think these are really cute. I really like the quads. I like the little packaging. So I'd be curious to see what the reviews are on this. It looks like they're gonna be $22 a piece. So that's really, really nice. Now the big launch that's coming up for holiday is Kylie Cosmetics X The Grinch Collection. I did not even realize that this was a Grinch collection. It was so funny because in her teaser photo, you could see like she was in like a like a fur green background, but I didn't put it together. I just thought maybe she was coming out with a green palette because everyone is coming out with a green palette these days. And so then when we saw that it was the Grinch, I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And honestly, it's like a cute collection. Like I think it's one of 
the better Kylie collections. There's a green like eyeliner. There's some pretty blushes, glosses. That highlighter is kind of cute. The one that's called Littlest of Who's. It's like a pink green tone highlighter. To me, the eyeshadow palette is really cute. The packaging is really cute, but the shades inside kind of a snooze fest. I don't know. What do you guys think? I kind of want to buy it just so I can have the green packaging for the Grinch. But like, I also really don't remember loving anything from Kylie that I've tried in the past. So I'm like, mm. so we'll see. So that's coming out on the 19th. So there's going to be um, a shadow stick set, a pressed illuminating powder, two shimmer eye glazes, a Kyliner liquid liner pen, pressed powder palette, lipstick set, lip kit, and the matte liquid lipstick and lip liner, as well as two high gloss ornaments. So all of that is coming out on the 19th. So mark that in your calendar if you've been wondering about what she's coming out with next. Okay, this really caught my eye and I <laughs> low-key really want to try this. So Milani launched the Color Fetish Shine Lipstick. So it's a sheer medium coverage, ultra, ultra moisturizing balm like lipstick with 85% blend of nourishing oils and these are $8.99 in 12 different shades. I love this packaging. I don't know if people don't like the packaging. I personally think it's so cute. This is like Milani's second launch of this season that I've been wanting but I've held off because I had some of their cream blushes as well as two of these lip products in my cart and then I was like okay like you're really not trying to stop buying things here are you? <laughs> like I had to have a little conversation with myself and I'm like, okay, do you really need another cream blush? No. Do you really need any more lipsticks? No. Okay, then don't spend $30 even if it's drugstore. So I ended up walking away. It was really hard, but <laughs> but I really would love to try it. Milani PR list, like, oh my gosh, I would love to be on the Milani PR list. I'm just putting it out there. I'm manifesting it, okay? Just in case in 2020, if Milani wants to give me a call, like, I'm all about that life because I love their stuff. And they're like one of my favorite brands at the drugstore, hands down. I am so excited for Black Friday because the Melt Holiday Collection is going to launch, but they did like a pre-sale just for their PR box, which listen, I know somebody that bought the PR box. You guys will probably know who it is soon. I don't want to spoil it for them because I don't think they've announced it yet, but yeah. Somebody dropped some mad cash on that PR box because it was expensive. Holy crap. I cannot wait for my friend's video though. 350 bucks on the PR collection, which it totally makes sense if you wanted everything in that collection. But for me, I really want to be able to pick and choose. So what I'm going to try and get to on Black Friday are the two palettes for sure. And then I would love to pick up that green eyeliner. Not because I necessarily wear green eyeliner, but I just want to like have it. So I'll probably actually only just get the two eyeshadow palettes. But it's been so fun because Melt did like a full reveal and I saw them do the swatches of the eyeshadow palette as well as like all the lippies and eyeliners and stuff. And so it was so fun to see the eyeshadow palettes swatched gorgeously. I'm so excited. I want both of them. So that's what I'm like, that's what I'm targeting is to try and get the eyeshadow palettes. I just think they look so beautiful. It was so funny. I was watching somebody do a Will I Buy It video and she had mentioned that she had never tried Melt and she was kind of annoyed because the prices are kind of high. And there's so much like mix signaling from Melt because sometimes our palettes are amazing and we're like freaking out. And then sometimes our palettes are really a miss and such bad quality. So I totally understand why that person felt the way they felt. And I was like thinking to myself, I'm like, she's right. Like, we really don't know if these palettes are going to be any good. It's really like a shot in the dark. But honestly, my perspective, I would rather buy them and have them and have them be good then not buy them and have them be good <laughs> and then really regret not buying them because I know so many people wish they could get their hands on last holiday collection. So listen, there would have to be some kind of crazy situation for me to miss those eyeshadow palettes because I really, really want them. I collect melt palettes and I love the ones I've kept in my collection. So I'm definitely eyeing those eyeshadow palettes. So the eyeshadow palettes are going to be two different prices because one has more shades. So the one with eight shades called Recently Deceased, 
will be $48. And then the one called The Waiting Room with 10 shades is going to be $58. They also have a mascara for $24. There's a curler as well. So that's going to be a set for the curler and the mascara for $35. Gel liners are $19 each. They have some lipsticks for $19. And then there's an Electrip paint for $19 and a Beetlejuice mirror for $21, and a brush set for $80. Listen, I just bought some refer brushes for $80. I'm not trying to buy more things for $80, so it's a pass for me on all of that stuff. But the eyeshadow palettes, they are hopefully gonna come home to me. <laughs> the so, next thing, I thought this was really cute. I've always heard of Spectrum brushes, but I've never really tried them. But this uh, Fantasia collection inspired by Mickey, so cute with like the saucer's hat. I think this is beautiful. I'm not big into Disney, but I know there's a lot of people that are. And I just think that's adorable. Like if I was into Disney, I'd probably be like running, screaming for that whole situation. Another Disney collaboration. This is Catrice X Essence ex Disney. And so I think Catrice is doing like the Disney villains collection. Essence is doing a Disney Princesses collection. So Catrice has the Evil Queen, Ursula, and Maleficent. And then um, Essence has the Aurora, Snow White, and Ariel collections. More Disney! <laughs> I think these are just like such fun, giftable things. I will say the, the villain eyeshadow palettes look really pretty. I'm not going to buy any of them, but they do look really cool. So I hope whoever ends up getting these loves them, but it's a pass for me. Next is the ColourPop X Raw Beauty Christie palette and collaboration that they launched. So she launched a eyeshadow palette, some Super Shock shadows, gel liners, and glosses. And I am so excited for this palette. I did end up picking it up. I just think it's such a fun color story. This one appeals to me the same way the Hocus Pocus palette did because I've really been into jewel tone eyeshadows for the holidays all of a sudden. Um, so I'm very excited to get a hold of some of these beautiful, deep mattes, colorful mattes from ColourPop. I cannot wait to put that bottom row in my crease. And I think the packaging is cute, and I think they did such a good job of, like, really capturing the essence of Raw Beauty Christie. I did watch her reveal video, and it was very nice. So I know a lot of you guys were really excited for that as well. So can't wait to see what I think of it when it comes in. Okay, Huda Beauty is doing an advent calendar. It's called the 12 Days of Beauty. So this includes like her three brands. So Huda, her fragrance line, and then her skincare line. It's $175. Um, it's a little bit rich for my taste, but if you don't have these products and you want to try them, it does seem like a good deal because there's like lashes, a little obsessions palette. There is a Mercury Retrograde, which is like $75 for full size eyeshadow palette or is it $65 it's one of those dollar amounts so it looks like it's a good deal I would be into it if I didn't already have a lot of those products so it's an easy pass for me and then Morphe decided to collaborate with Lisa Frank and this is the full collection I don't believe this is out yet but there's an eyeshadow palette a 35b uh, for $30, a, a Treat Me Sweet sponge set for $19, Blend Bright brush set for $32, and a makeup bag. So this, uh, you know, is probably appealing to everyone's, um, you know, teenage self. <laughs> Maybe second to third to fourth grade self. I don't know. I didn't really grow up with Lisa Frank, but I've definitely seen the products so it's uh it's uh interesting i don't i don't know what to say this palette reminds me of another morphe palette we're gonna talk about really quick here but uh yeah it's gonna be a pass for me it looks like it'll be available in stores and online towards the end of november so. okay next is this launch from fenty beauty it is the diamond bombs in new shades jelly to sparkle formula that glides on smooth like butter and there's Rose Rave and Royal Icing. And honestly, these look beautiful. I would love to pick these up, except I don't need another highlighter. And I'm a little bit scared because they're like, they sound very shimmery. So I think it's something I'm interested in, but I'm not going to buy 
And then they also did a all for one four piece AM plus PM skincare set, which is $112 because it's all full size products. I haven't tried Fenty Skin yet, but maybe in the future I will dabble. Um, Hourglass is gonna come to Alta this month, so that's exciting news. I know my friend Britt Clark is probably screaming somewhere because she is a big Hourglass fan, and I think we're always talking about how um, she wishes Hourglass was at Alta stores. I know a majority of us really like the Alta point system, so I think it'll be fun that they're adding Hourglass. Sephora better watch out. I will also say that I've noticed that Alta has really stepped up their shipping. I don't know if you guys have, but I definitely have noticed that about them. So Wet n Wild launched their holiday collection. This is the Star Lux collection. I think this looks really cute. I mean, those highlighters are definitely not for me, and I don't really love the shades they chose for their eyeshadow quads, but I think it looks really festive and fun. So they have a Star Lux shadow quad, um, glitter highlighter duos, and then they did some brushes, lip scrubs, lip glosses, all of that I believe is now available. I think that's really cool. I do like Wet n Wild, another one of my favorite drugstore brands, uh, but I'm gonna be passing on that for now. So um, Dominique Cosmetics launched two lip duos for the holiday season. There's one called Heat of the Moment, and then there's In a Daze, which is a shimmer lip gloss with a matte pink liner. And then the heat of the moment is a cherry red lip gloss with a cherry red liner. And then they have a holiday lip glitz bundle for $45. I think this is fun. I feel like this is a way to do a holiday collection without doing an eyeshadow palette, without doing like the most. Everyone's already strapped for cash as it is trying to buy gifts, trying to buy new makeup releases. Like we're all scrambling out here. So it's nice that they just did like a lip bundle. But honestly, I feel like this isn't anything unique and it's not making me rush out and want it. So easy pass for me. This one, I'm wondering if I should buy. So Huda Beauty is doing a gold obsession palette for 27 pounds. This is celebrating five years at Cult Beauty and it is, I think, an Cult Beauty exclusive. So I low key was like, oh, should I get it? Cause you guys really seem to like it when I review Huda Beauty and I like the brand as well. So I'm like, should I get it? Should I get it? But uh, do I want to spend 27 pounds? Cause I really didn't love the khaki palette. So I'm like, uh, and I don't know that I like love the colors in there. If I knew it was good quality, I would feel a little bit better about it because I, it's not like I can really return it to Call It Beauty. So will you guys let me know down in the comments if you wanna see a video on that? Other good news, Alta and like Target are doing some kind of collaboration. So basically you will soon be able to shop your favorite Alta beauty products at Target online and in select Target stores. So where I live, the town I live in, Target and Alta are literally like neighbors. They're like two, three blocks apart from each other. So I can literally take a straight shot from Target to Alta and not hit any um, lights or anything like that. So I don't really think this is for me, but I think for people that maybe live in bigger cities, it might be an easier way to access things at Alta. Plus Target shipping is like the bee's knees. So I think it's a good idea. We'll see how it pans out. I will keep you guys posted if I have any Target Alta experiences. Next is the Black Friday setup for ABH. So they have some new vaults coming. There is a Soft Glam Luxe set. So this will include the Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette of Mini Mascara, Crush Mini Liquid Lipstick. Then they have the Soft Glam Luxe set. This will be a Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette and a Mini Mascara and a Vintage Mini Gloss for $49. They also have the Sultry Eyeshadow Palette eyeliner, eye primer, and mascara in a vault, and then a ABH Jackie Ina eyeshadow palette, eye primer, eyeliner, and mascara in a vault. So I'm guessing that's going to come out for Black Friday. I'm so bummed, you guys. Like, I'm really bummed that we didn't get, like, a new palette from ABH for holiday, and I don't know. I just really hope that they are doing good and that we see more from them because I'm really bummed. They usually do such a beautiful holiday palette. Like last year, I think Soul Tree came out and now we have nothing and <laughs> I'm really disappointed. I just would have loved to see something from them for the end of the year. So I was really hoping there would be another eyeshadow palette, but I think it's just the mini. I'm a little bitter. 
I'm a little bitter because I feel like the beauty community complains so much about their back-to-back -back launches that Norvina just like ran for the hills, which I don't really think that that's maybe the smartest business move, but I'm also like, well, maybe, you know, they just didn't want to like upset the beauty community. I don't know. You guys tell me. Maybe it's, maybe it's not that deep, but I'm like, is it because we were mean to you, ABH? Because <laughs> come back. Because someone... Because cause we miss you. We miss you. We want you back. Okay, another new collection. So I think I was like under a trance when I saw this palette because I'm pretty sure I posted on my community tab on YouTube that this palette was cute. But the longer I stared at it, I was like, are you okay? Like... Do you need help, sweetie? And then I'm like, okay, I talked myself out of it. So the Wayne Goss new holiday palette. This is called what again? Ah, oh, I can't remember what this palette is called. It's like the pearl something. I don't know. It doesn't say in Trend Mood's post. But anyway, it's a six-pan eyeshadow palette. Two eye pencils, blue and plum. My friend Britt Clark won't stop raving about his palettes as well as his eye pencils. I think she's the reason why I was like, mm, maybe I'll get this. And now I'm like, no, you don't need it. So I'm not going to be getting it. But I mean, if you really like cool tones, I can see people really enjoying it. But it's a pass for me. <laughs> so the next thing on here is the new Trend Mood X Nabla Takeover Box. I actually am wearing this box on my face today. So if you guys want to see how the products did, if you're curious about the Nabla side by side by side side to side side by side eyeshadow palette it is what i have on my eyes definitely check out that video i had so much fun playing with that product thought it was such a good deal 44 bucks and the crazy thing is the box was not sold out until i think like friday after it launched which was pretty freaking shocking if you ask me so if you guys missed out you really missed out on a good deal if you if you like neutrals they did a really good job i'm really i'm really happy for nabla on that one so one size patrick stars brand at sephora they launched the ultimate blurring setting powder and a baking puff and also some lashes i almost bought the powder but then i was like karen really you have all the powders you need like please stop so i did end up passing on it but you guys will have to let me know if you pick that up, what your thoughts are, I will definitely be keeping an eye out on videos because I'm curious about that powder. Next is the Alta exclusive holiday collection for Kylie. So there is a holiday mini lip kit, holiday mini gloss set, holiday break apart eyeshadow palette duo for $38. So there's a warm palette and a cool palette and the holiday mini lip kit trio, $36. I think these are already on Alta's website. They're definitely neutral, and I feel like these are geared perfectly for teenagers. Definitely not what I'm into right now, so easy pass for me. Holo Taco, you guys know I'm such a big fan of their nail polishes. I only have two because they're kind of pricey, and my husband offered to buy me this collection, and I kind of hummed and hawed, but this is like a metallic collection, and I really like her more like holo stuff, so... I decided to pass on it, but it's beautiful. It is a five icy metallic foil shades made with an intense metallic flake formula for $13. And then there's five shades. There's five shades and then the limited edition box is $65. So you get it in some nice limited edition packaging. Next is the Cheeky Rose Blushes from Winky Lux. And honestly, these ones... I know a lot of people think these are so cute, but I think they look so... I don't know, weird? Like, you know that's gonna, like, you know that's gonna lose its, like, its, like, shape when you use a brush, right? So it's it's really not gonna hold that form, but, I mean, it's cute, I guess. So they have five shades. There's a coral, a fuchsia, a mauve, a rose, and a light pink, and they're 20 bucks a pop, which, that's not so bad. Next is a new brand by an influencer. This is the Vive brand by Jamie Genevieve. I don't actually watch her, but this collection is gorgeous. It looks so expensive and high-end, and all the lip bullets look very Tom Ford-esque, so 
I am very excited. I know some of my friends picked up some of these products, so I will definitely keep an eye out for their videos. So of course, whatever Kylie does, <laughs> KKW does as well. So she has a Ulta exclusive collection as well. So there is a five pen eyeshadow palette for $35. And then there is a lip crayon as well as a five piece mini lip liner set for $29. I feel like somebody needs to let Angie know because Angie's a big fan of the uh, KKW lip liners, as am I, honestly. I feel like that lip kit set wouldn't be so bad. Like, I wouldn't mind some mini lip liners. I'm gonna go look at that, actually, because I think I have an Ulta coupon. I'll have to check and see. So those are all available online, and I think they're gonna be available in-store on November 15th. Okay, next is this palette from Beauty Bakery. This is actually super cute. This is, like, the first thing from Beauty Bakery that's caught my attention in a while. This is their sugar cookie palette, and it's like some pretty blues and some neutral shades. So it is nine shades, mattes and shimmers, $28, made with organic and unrefined. Shea butter smells like chocolate. Mmm. It's cute! Like, I think it's really, really cute. So if I can get that at, like, an Alta store, I might consider it. I will definitely be keeping an eye out for reviews on that as well. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the new collection from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is the Blood Money collection. They did a green palette. I think that's really a very obvious direction because they have the blue, they have the purple, they have the red. So it makes sense that they did a green eyeshadow palette. I think it's a nice palette. Am I going to get it? No, but I think it's a nice palette. And I think if you are a purchaser of Jeffree Star Cosmetics, totally makes sense to get it and then they did the highlighters they did a mini liquid lipstick bundle i think the bundle does look nice i think there is a nice range of shades i really like that mustardy color honestly it kind of reminds me of quest from lethal cosmetics though so i definitely have a dupe to that color and i think it's cool too because i think you can use his liquid lipsticks as eyeliners so i think like we're gonna see some really interesting like people do some artwork with those. And then they also launched a new product for their line, which is some eyeliners. There's also some lip glosses, so it's quite a big collection. I think there was also like accessories and stuff. This collection is already launched. Let me know if you guys picked it up. I'm not purchasing from him at this moment in time, but objectively, I don't think it's a bad collection. I mean, is it the most original thing I've ever seen? Absolutely no, but I don't think it's bad. ColourPop launch from 4th Ray Beauty, some cooling facial globes for $20. Uh, listen, I love the idea of things like that, but I'm not that much of a self-care bitch. Like, if I can put a mask on my face every once in a while, I'm happy. But usually I, like, forget about it. So uh, self-care time for me is, like, sitting on the couch and watching a good movie. And then they also launch daily do-over makeup remover wipes. And these are 100% plant-based fiber fragrance free with cucumber to hydrate the skin and aloe so i think that's actually pretty nice i think that's smart for them to have makeup wipes because most people are buying colourpop things like on a weekly basis so you can just throw in some just throw in some makeup wipes if you need them so dose of colors dose of skincare is this real dose skincare is this real Okay, so Dose of Colors is doing skincare. I didn't even realize this. So the full first launch of new skincare, Dose Skincare, includes five products. Energizing Serum, $39. Triple Dose Cleanser, $22. Facial Cleansing Sponge, $17 for a two-pack. Triple Dose Cleaning Set, $29. Cold Press Booster, um, and then a Hydra Dose Daily Facial Moisturizer. These are all launching on November 9th. I would literally not heard of Dose of Color skincare until I just saw this um, trend mood post. And I know Dose of Colors is popular as a makeup brand, but is there some kind of like market research saying that skincare is more profitable? Because all of a sudden I feel like there's so much skincare coming out. Like, what, what's up with that? Okay, this is the Sample Beauty, the Equalizer Palette Volume 2. The Volume 1 is a colorful version of this palette, but this is a Volume 2. I think this one PR photo that's circulating is super beautiful. I think it might be catfishing all of us, though, because I saw some other pictures of the palette, and it just doesn't look as cute as the first picture. I feel like I have all these colors in my collection, so I did pass on this. But Sample Beauty was running like some crazy sale where you bought one palette and you got a palette free 
and it was free shipping, so I spent like 30 pounds on their website, got two eyeshadow palettes. They're not here yet, but I wanted to let you guys know because I will be doing a trying sample beauty video on my channel, so I'm excited about that because a lot of you were wondering what the quality was like, and I was like, I don't know. I'll be able to tell you guys soon. <laughs> so James Charles is teasing a new makeup brand, and I posted this on my community tab, and you guys are savage. like. Basically, everyone was like, nope, we don't care. So I'm kind of with you, though. I really don't care either. So easy pass for me. Okay, Suva Beauty is launching their Magic Ecstasy palette. This is a 12-shade pressed pigment palette rich with moody mattes and multi-reflective press glitters. So this palette is launching Black Friday. And honestly, it looks beautiful, but I don't really love the Suva Beauty matte formula. And then as pretty as these glitters are, I just know I won't use it enough to justify the cost of having it. Like if I have to have it shipped from Canada, because every time I bought from Suva Beauty before, it was before they were in Morphe stores. So I don't know if this palette is coming to Morphe. I don't think it is. So if not, then you have to like buy it from Canada. And I think it's pretty pricey. So I'm going to be passing on it, but I'm so happy that Suva Beauty is launching something new because their owner is, um, I believe she's Indian, but she grew up in Fiji. So she's a Fiji Indian. And I've talked to her. She's a Fiji Indian Canadian by the way. So I've talked to her a little bit. She seems really cool. Like such a girl boss. I love her whole life. Like her colorful vibes are like out of this world. Like you guys think I like to wear color. You should see her personal Instagram page or just even go on Suva Beauty's Instagram page. It's like a color explosion. So I really root for that brand all the time. And Congratulations to Suva Beauty on their new eyeshadow palette. So here is the other colorful palette from Morphe. Oh my gosh, you guys, I almost wanted to get this palette because I saw that it was available in my Ulta. And you guys love it when I review new palettes on my channel and I thought it would be so funny to buy this palette and low-key like roast it because it's Morphe. And you know, most of the time I'm not really expecting a whole lot. It would have been even funnier if I actually liked the palette, but I saw the display because I went into my Alta last Sunday and I was like looking at it and I was like, nope, I can't do it. I cannot give Morphe and Nikita Dragon $30. No, thank you. <laughs> so this is the Nikita Dragon and Morphe collaboration. So they have a 35 shades, neutral and bold colors, eyeshadow brush set for $20 and then a bunch of other stuff. But honestly... I'm not a huge Nikita Dragon fan, so it's an easy pass for me. Oh, Juvia's Place. That's the other brand that's doing skincare. So Juvia's Place is teasing their new skincare brand. It's coming 2021, so we'll have to see how that goes. Okay, guys, so Trend Mood posted about this, and I'm going to show you guys as well. I do have the new Kaleidos Space Age Prophecy Highlighter. This highlighter is so pretty. I'm actually wearing it on my face today. Kaleidos was so kind and they did send it to me. I also have their brushes and they also send me their Mars Melter which is reformulated and fabulous. So just want to show you guys the new collection from Kaleidos Makeup that was kindly sent to me by the brand. Since we're talking about new makeup releases and PR, I also wanted to mention that Midas is launching some new brushes. So I used this one on my under eyes today. It was so nice. And then they have some really nice brushes. I think this whole set on their website is $35 if I'm not mistaken. And you can use my code KH makeup to save some money too because I am a Midas affiliate. So I will make a small commission if you guys purchase their new brushes. They also have a bunch of new stuff on their website. They came out with these glosses I have here. Let me show you. So these glosses are from their fall collection. They also have some cute mini pastel eyeshadow palettes. Oh my gosh, Midas is doing the most for the holidays, so check all of that out as well. Ooh, let's talk about this. So everyone, I don't know. Okay, so here's my thing. And I, I still don't have an answer to this. So this is the new P. Louise Cancel Collection. It did launch. Please don't yell at me because I'm ignorant about this situation, but apparently there was a scandal with P. Louise and... She sort of got canceled, but not really. And now people are actually canceling the brand because they launched a collection called the Canceled Collection, which I feel like not the best name. But from everything I've seen on their social media, they're kind of trying to 
like promote the kind of the bad side of social media where they're like saying like, hey, social media isn't everything. Um, don't base your value of yourself based on like social media, which I think those things are important to talk about. Those are hard conversations to have. And I think it's important, especially with like the younger generation, if you're around young people a lot, sometimes you kind of see like the not so great side to social media. Obviously, I love YouTube. I love Instagram. But it's a different thing when you see how consumed people are by it. So, like, I like that aspect of the collection. I don't know. I know people are, like, upset with P. Louise about it. So, I just want to know, like, what the cancel collection... Like, what about the cancel collection has to do with her getting canceled? Like, what is the tie-in there? Because I saw some videos saying, like, she's trying to pop she's trying to profit off of her getting canceled and I don't I don't know what happened <laughs> what happened so tell me I personally you know what I mm, this palette mm, like I have the worldly palette and it's way less shades in this palette and just seeing how many shadows are in that palette freaks me out because it does look like it's like a, it's gonna be a thick palette so Easy pass for me, but the collection includes the Read All About It Cancel Palette with 36 shades, the Re White Fresh Ink Paint, Feed Black Fresh Ink Paint and Brush Duo, bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff. It's already out, so let me know the T on that. Then we have the Pantherine Collection from Spectrum Collections. It's a pretty neutral palette. I love all the tortoise stuff. It's so adorable and like the brush trays and all the stuff looks very nice. Um, it looks like this is a UK based brand. Um, so I'm gonna be passing because I don't really need anything from what they're showing. And then Linda Hallberg launched a new golden 20s eyeshadow palette with 12 shades with new multi-use formulas. And so I'm guessing this means you can use them on as highlighters and blush as well as bronzer and then some beautiful eyeshadow shades as well. And then the end eyeshadow primer for $24. So I haven't seen this in videos yet, but I'm definitely curious. It's too close to the Nabla side-by-side -side palette for me to purchase, but I'm very curious to hear what people think about it. So Trendmood posted about the BH Cosmetics holiday launch. Now, the holiday collection launched early on Ulta's website, which is where I got my Naughty palette, but there's also a Nice palette. I went for the Naughty palette because the Nice palette was just too dang small. So I got that and then they have a highlighter palette and a blush set and the mini palette. So I'm very excited to try my Naughty palette. I have been really into BH Cosmetics as well as so many other people these days. And I did see too, um, Sweet Shops in Green is restocking on National Sunday, like Ice Cream Sunday Day. So keep an eye out because you don't want to miss that palette if it restocks. <laughs> so ELF launched a new concealer. This is the Flawless Brightening Concealer. It says Luminosity is a click away. So it's, I'm, I'm guessing since it's e.l.f. it's affordable. Yeah, $5 for a concealer. I like those odds. Okay guys, so that is it for Trend Mood. Now I'm gonna switch over to Indie Makeup Spotlight, which is run by my friend Amy Loves Makeup. And the first thing on here is Davina's new Star Chaser collection launching on Black Friday. Oh my God, Davina, take my money. Can I can I send you my credit card so you can just charge me in advance and send me your eyeshadows because these look stunning. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So I'm very excited. She's shown like four shades now. So I'm excited to know price points, what time, when, let's go, I'm ready. Also, Temptalia announced that she is collaborating with Sydney Grace, I'm so excited. For this, she's already shown us a color. So the collection will include three 12 pan palettes. There will be the Quintessential palette, an ode to Sky and Space, the On the Horizon palette, uh, featuring grungy earthy neutrals and the radiant reflection palette which will be a colorful jewel tone rainbow are you excited yes I'm so excited again CD Grace listen do I need to send my debit card I will actually just give you my account details you can just withdraw directly from my bank account I do get CD Grace PR 
But I feel like this Temptalia collection is so much bigger than my little channel. So <laughs> I never expect that I will always get PR, even from brands that have consistently sent me PR, but oh my God, I can't wait. Three new eyeshadow palettes! Ah! Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, next is the Glam Light Foodie Box. This is the Desert Edition. I would have bought this, except they put the mini donut palette in there. And listen, the Glam Light mini donut palette is by far my least favorite Glam Light palette. So it's 45 bucks. It's a great way to try the brand. And I do have a code with them. It is KH Makeup. It does save you money. So if you're interested, definitely consider picking that up. And then Kristen Lee is launching some new glitter gel like eyeshadows I think these are they're so cool they're like multi-chromes I think and they just look stunning on her swatches and stuff so Adept Cosmetics I recently posted a video about them they have been up to some stuff so they just launched a new formula and these are called what are these called I saw them on their new formula called ACI so it's like an iridescent sheen so there's four new shades Loki want them but they're like 28 bucks for four eyeshadows and I'm like that's a whole eyeshadow palette so I can't do it I'm not gonna do it and then they have the new eyeshadow palette that's coming out called the Plain Jane eyeshadow palette I remember seeing these and like people talking about it and then there was a delay so I kind of fell off my radar but oh my gosh it's such a pretty eyeshadow palette I low-key like wish I hadn't missed the pre-order but now I think their pre-orders are like going as far out as uh, February March of 2021 so I'm just gonna wait and see if I get it maybe I'll just get it next year and then the BK Beauty True Beauty eyeshadow palette launching Thursday so this already launched I know a bunch of my friends are getting this in PR so can't wait to see their videos I think it's a pass for me though because it looks a little light and I have a bunch of neutral palettes so I don't need it Muse Beauty is sneak peeking I think their next eyeshadow palette this color story is so cute it kind of reminds me of Colored Rain Safari Rain so if you missed that maybe maybe you want to check out Muse Beauty they are a small indie brand Okay, so that's pretty much it for Indie Makeup Spotlight. Now I'm going to head on over to my save folder because anything I see that I kind of want to talk about, I like to save in there in case I miss it on other um, pages. So Scott Barnes, he launched his holiday collection, the Scott Barnes Best Beauty Vault. Uh, for like $525, oh my god. There's 10 eyeshadow palettes in there and then they have some duo palettes, some powders, we're launching glosses, lip liners, the whole nine yards. I am actually going to be getting his colorful eyeshadow palette from Look Fantastic because I'm going to work with them on a video for the holidays, so keep an eye out. I'm excited. I want to try his colorful palette. I liked his neutral palette, the one that's called Snatural. Um, it kind of reminds me of the side-by-side -side from Nabla, actually. I mean, obviously, they're all neutrals, but anyway. Excited to have his colorful palette, but it's a pass for the holiday collection, Scott. Sorry. Um, next. Oh my gosh, I saw this post from Storybook Cosmetics, and I low-key, like, laughed a little bit, because if you guys have been around on YouTube for a while, you know, like, Storybook is the brand that's like failure to launch they're always teasing shit but it never comes out so it says they're finally launching their starry night collection and all the caption says is December and I'm like I sent it to some of my friends and I was like oh okay December and it was so funny because one of my friends quickly responded but they didn't say what year because I swear they've been teasing this palette from like 2017 the last time I remember so not gonna hold my breath on that one, let's be real. <laughs> okay, this is a brand that I talked about before in a Will I Buy It, but now they launched something that caught my eye. This is Cash Beauty, and they launch a new collection called Crystal Nights. And right now they're doing pre-orders, and you can't buy the items individually. You have to buy, like, sets. So the, Knight, uh, the Crystal Nights eye set is 59 uh, euros. Uh, right now so it's like a sale price but 
that includes a eyeshadow palette, six pack lash, and then eyeshadow topper duos. And I'm like, I don't want that. I just want the eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it. If the eyeshadow palette is reasonably priced, I might end up picking it up at a future time. But for right now, I'm not gonna get the pre-order because I don't wanna spend that kind of money on a brand that I haven't tried before. Maybe it'll be something I pick up in 2021. So we'll see. Anyway, guys, that is it for my Will I Buy It video. Oh my gosh, that one felt really long. I hope I can edit it down so it's not like two hours long. I don't think it'll be two hours. I think hopefully it'll be like under an hour, maybe like a half an hour, fingers crossed. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you in my next video soon. Bye, guys.